Hi, and welcome to Financial Solutions. I'm your host, Mark Rigney. Today's program is going to focus on investing in real estate. It's safe to say the current landscape of the real estate market is a double-edged sword. It is the best of times and it is the worst of times. If you're a knowledgeable real estate investor, you know there are some great opportunities out there. Today's guest and noted author, Xavier Arnold, will explain why that's the case. He's going to share with us what many of the successful investors are doing and how they are doing it. He's going to discuss how even novice investors can get in the real estate business right now and not pay an arm and a leg. With all the foreclosures and depressed home values inundating the market, there is no better time to invest in real estate. His book shares the secrets of the most successful investors and a revolutionary method that he claims is 90% effective. His book is titled, The Best Real Estate Investing Method Ever. Regardless of your experience, let's find out how you too can take advantage of the current market for real estate investing once and for all. Hi, Xavier, and thanks for being here. We're excited to have you. Thank you for having me, Mark. Xavier, why don't you start by sharing with our viewers a little bit about your professional background? Certainly. I've been a real estate appraiser and a licensed broker for over 20 years at this point. My specialty, however, is working with real estate investors. Okay. And because of my experience working with investors, I've written two books. The second one is the best real estate investing method ever. Okay, okay. Um, tell us about the book. What is the, what's the details? The book really tells my story, my okay. career path working with investors, mm -hmm. and how through working with investors we've determined what works and what doesn't for people wanting to get into the business. Mm -hmm. So you've been through the ups and downs of the real estate market. How long have you been in the real estate market for now? I became a licensed agent back in 80, 1985. Okay, wow. So I've been in the business about 26 years total. Yeah, yeah it definitely is a sawtooth design up and down, up and down. It, yes, it has and you've been. seen the you've seen the cycles come and go, huh? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Good times and lean times. Mm -hmm. I, I see that you have some personal and funny stories in the book. What, what's your favorite? <laughs> well, I do have quite a few. Uh, for your audience, though, I'm thinking probably the one on, on page 146 that talks about the $150,000 seminar. Okay. And this is a real experience that happened to me. Okay. Share with um, us. Of course, I will. Um, there was a seminar promoter in okay. the area. Okay. And he was from, as I recall, Las Vegas. Okay. And I won't mention his name because okay. he yes, might. Yes, please. <laughs> I'll protect the guilty here. Okay. But we went to see him on a Friday. And while we were there at the hotel, this was near Baltimore, near the, near the airport, mm -hmm. uh, he was late. And late he, to the meeting with you? Late to the meeting with the, the whole group. The seminar. The seminar. Oh, itself. my gosh. Okay. And he walked in like a movie star. I mean, hair back, shirt without tie, okay. tanned. Okay. okay. Looked, looked just like he walked off of a set. Like the movie star. Movie star, Sunglasses. really. And he was very impressive. Okay. And he started to talk, and he couldn't talk beyond a whisper because he said he had laryngitis. Okay. And so everybody <laughs> in the room had to just really try to get close to him. But I think that was really for effect. Okay. Okay. And as he talked about his program, the friend that I came with, we were just awed when he mentioned the price. He was going to teach uh, his peop investors to work with him okay. and do what's called lease options. Lease uh, options. Lease options. Okay. okay. And the fee for working with him was only $150,000. Oh my gosh. Per person? <laughs> per person. Jeez. Per person. But he went on to tell the story of how he had recently just gotten out of prison. <laughs> okay. So, okay. And I'm there with my mouth open because, you know, $150,000, but yet I counted about 12 people that signed up that evening. Really? $150,000 seminar. And he just got out of prison, too. Just got out I of mean, prison. I mean, there are red flags all over all, the place. All over the place. But people are so hungry to learn how to invest in real estate that a lot of times they overlook their common sense. That's the problem. Right. How long ago was this? That was probably about 2005. Was that when the market was exploding? And yes, the it values was were, and Yeah, and everybody's yeah. putting escalation clauses on contracts. That's exactly and, right. Uh -huh. exactly See, everybody right. is so anxious to get a piece of the puzzle, they ignore the common sense aspect. Common of sense, it. and that's mm -hmm. what people shouldn't ignore, though. Right, right. So how did you get invested? How did you get interested in real estate? I was taken to. Um, <laughs> sad to say, You but were taken to. <laughs> share with us the story. Okay, back in 1985, there was another another rage. That was the nothing down era. Okay. Okay. And okay. there were seminars just everywhere. Mm 
Okay. Now, uh, is that for real estate investing or buying a principal no, residence? No, real estate investing. In real estate yes, investing, okay. Real, and it was a well-known uh, gentleman at that time who's, who I won't mention his name either. Okay. But he came to D.C. Okay. And uh, the promotion went on for a couple of weeks before he actually got here. So when he finally did arrive, I mean, it was just really hype. I met, uh, there were about 300 people okay. actually at the hotel in D.C. And at the seminar. At the seminar, okay. right. Okay, okay. And uh, so I signed up immediately. You signed okay. up immediately. As well as did at least 300 to 500 other people. Wow. Now, what happened after that, though, was really disappointing. Okay. The seminar, of, uh, they filled us with a lot of information, sort of fire hose fed us over three days. Okay. I think it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the time. And um, only I learned after they left that very next week that I had purchased all these materials. Okay. But I really didn't know what to do with them. Right. So I had a stack of materials this high, and at that point I decided I was going to really learn how to do it. Okay. So I, okay. I, my determination just peaked. Okay. But I'd spent, I, I'd wasted over $3,000 at that seminar. When you say fire host fed us, you mean a lot of information um, in a short time span. That's exactly right. Uh -huh. They tell you about deals other people have done. They tell, they tell you about things uh, that really aren't relevant to maybe your market. Right. But you don't know that you don't need this information. Right. That it's not going to be relevant to you and your career. Right. right. And so it's really more about hype. I so think. it wasn't about the content of the materials you bought, it was more about promoting themselves. Promoting themselves, mm -hmm. and the, the content was basically information that you could have gotten from a library. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what is this, what's so hard and so tricky about real estate investing? There, there, it's quite complicated. So what is, what is something that you really need to be aware of? Real estate investing is the surest way to grow wealth in America. Let me just say that. Well, they're not making any more real estate. That's so, exactly right. So it's, it's valuable. It's right. It's the cornerstone of wealth. The problem is that real estate is not like stocks and bonds. Okay. If you pick up a newspaper article, for example, and you read about a company that's poised to do well, say Apple, they're okay. going to put out the uh, iPad, mm -hmm. you can get on the phone or on your internet mm -hmm. and buy 100 shares from your stockbroker. Right. Okay. You can't do that with real estate. No, you can't. Real estate is a bit more complicated by mm -hmm. its very nature. You're going to need to probably talk to a real estate agent, possibly an appraiser, mm -hmm. a mortgage person such as yourself, a title attorney, okay. a general contractor. So you need a lot of skills in order to really succeed in real estate. Mm -hmm. And most people never acquire the ability or manage those skills, okay. okay? So they have to get those professionals. So it's a little more complicated, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. If you do it the right way. If you do it the right mm -hmm. way, correct. What is the purpose or mission of Real Estate Investor LLC? That's a great question. Okay. The purpose of Real Smart Investor LLC right. is to educate people. Well, let's, I'm sorry, how, okay. how, do, how are you involved with Real, Real Smart? Investing I'm LLC. one of the uh, uh, brain, uh, uh, brain. It was my brainchild essentially. Okay. 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 So this is your company. Y y yes, I'm a okay. part of the company. Okay. Right. I it's understand. not just totally my company. Yes. Okay. But we under, as a professional, I understood that seminars really didn't give people what they really needed. It was all about hype. It's like all it. about hype. I learned that firsthand. Mm -hmm. So what I decided to do was to develop a program that was practical. Okay. And that worked in the real world. Okay. Is that what's in the book right That's there? That's exactly what the book is about. Okay. It's a systematic approach to investing in real estate. It's not about a lot of hype okay. or personalities, but it's a systematic approach. So you can use it if you're in California or Florida mm -hmm. or Washington, D.C. It's a nuts and bolts approach. It's a nuts, exactly right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why is a company like yours needed right now? Because there is so much misinformation both on the internet mm -hmm. and on television. Mm -hmm. The business of real estate investing is esoteric to a lot of people. I mean, they okay. want to do it, but they really just don't know how to get started. Yeah, they hear about it in the news, how it's a great time to, for knowledgeable investors to get involved and That's such exactly like that. Right. So this is where your company plays a role. Right, and especially for new investors, because the market is ripe 
for mm -hmm. new investors, but they've got to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. And that's really important. Going, spending a lot of money at a seminar is the wrong way to approach it. Mm -hmm. And like that $150,000 seminar, I hear people all the time telling me they spent $40,000 at this seminar. Oh my gosh. Or $70,000. I had a gentleman just three weeks ago who was spending $40,000 just for the seminar. Jeez. So let's get down to the, the grassroots of it. What is it that your company does? Give us a little explanation about that. What we've done is we've developed a method that truly works in the real world. And it provides students with exactly what they need to succeed. And step it, by step. Step by step. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Okay. What we tell people is that you need three things to succeed as an investor. Okay. You need a plan. Right. Every business, and real estate is a business, it is. has a plan. Mm -hmm. So you've got to develop a plan, much like you would do if you sat down with the financial planner. Okay. But for real estate. Now, the second thing that you've got to have is that, and no matter who you are in the business, you have a team backing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've got to have professionals that are experienced and licensed and know how to close a deal. Okay. okay? And the third component, which is really what is, will revolutionize the business, I, I like, to, like to say, is that you've got to have a way to learn how to invest by actually training on an investment property. Learning firsthand. Learning firsthand. Right. If you look back, if you were a child, okay, okay when you were a okay. child, you didn't read a book when you learned how to ride a bicycle, did you? No. You had to learn by doing. You had to learn by doing. Mm -hmm. The same is true of learning when you learned how to swim. You didn't have a DVD set, did you? No. No, you got in the water and you got wet. Mm -hmm. You have to do the same thing with the real estate business because it's an activity done in the real world, mm -hmm. just like cycling and just like swimming. That's how human beings learn, by participating in the activity that they want to actually master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't other investing seminars like the Trump seminar fill that need now? It's impossible, no, they don't. They don't. The, the format of a typical seminar is simply this. You come in, you sit behind the desk, and the lecturer tells you about investing. Okay. And they give you information, mm -hmm. okay? They give you a book, and they talk you through the process. That's a far cry from actually doing a real deal. You leave with more questions than you came with. Exactly right. And you, mm -hmm. if you have a room full of 300 people, more than likely your correct questions will not be answered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how, how is what you do different from what they do? Well, we actually walk through a real deal from before the property is purchased till actually till like it's one closed. Like one-on-one -on -one with, with the purchaser with the recipient? You do one-on-one -on -one training? Not one-on-one. -on -one. We actually uh, use the internet okay. for convenience sake. Okay. But what we do is we engage expert investors okay. who are working in the market. Okay. So our students learn best practices from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you had somebody training you who had 25 years of experience. Mm -hmm. And then you use the instructors that were the licensed people, the licensed professionals, right. on top of that. So you get best practices from day one. So okay. you learn how to do it right, uh, both from the experts and the licensed professionals. Mm -hmm. Now you heard about Nouveau Reach recently getting closed down because of the complaints. What do you think about uh, their system? I heard about Nouveau Reach in, in, Reach in California mm -hmm. originally, and uh, they, when they migrated here to the East Coast. Ex explain for our viewers a little bit about Nouveau Reach. It's a, it was a company that specialized in seminars as okay. well. They had a seminar format, and they charged like $16,000, I oh believe. Oh, my gosh. Per, uh, but that was just could be the intro. I mean, it could go higher. Right, right. And that's what a, a lot of times they do. Uh, and they got a lot of complaints because, again, when you go to the seminars, there's a lot of information. They speak generalities. Okay. So you really 